This is a quick overview of how to use the list feature on Google Maps. As you can see, I have a lot of places tagged here in the US. Um, this is my US road trip list that I hope to use for a future trip. So I'm going to show you first how to add a location to a list. So when you're in Maps, you're just going to search for either the business or the place that you want to head to. So we're going to go and add Cumberland Falls, Kentucky. You'll click on the save icon here. And then I'm going to add it to my US road trip list. It also gives you the option to add a note for each location that you add if you want to have specific details. So I'm just going to specify a great place to stand up paddleboard. And then we'll just go back to the, the main list. So you can view it on the map just as an overall picture or also here on the left on a list view shows you the ratings and details about each place that you've added to this specific list. Um, then if you want to share this with someone that's um, planning the trip with you, you'll just hit the share icon here. Make sure it's set to shared status instead of private, so that will allow um, whoever you send the link to to view it and be able to make edits as well. So that comes in handy when you want to collaborate with someone else and just um, each person can add anything that they're interested in on a trip that way, and it makes it really easy, especially if you're not in the same location when you're planning the trip. You can also follow other people's lists on Google if they've set them as public. Um, so I've created a few public lists here. Have one for the best bubble tea in our area here in North Carolina. If you add hashtags to the description, that'll also help people find your list. I've also created a couple for um, the best hikes in the area and um, healthy food in the area as well. So if you have visited a location on your list um, and you want to check it off the bucket list, you would just go back to the, um, to the page of that location and then again you would hit the saved icon and that would then, you would just select it again on the list and that would remove it. So it's really easy to add and edit and update using this feature. Um, I really like it. It's really helped me to stay organized because I have so many, so many uh, travel dreams. So it makes it, it keeps me, um, yeah, keeps me organized and I'm able to see when we go on spontaneous trips, um, see things that I may have forgotten otherwise if I hadn't created these. So I hope this is helpful.